No matter how obvious all of this is to everyone that the border is open and it's the fault of Joe Biden and his incompetent, not ready for primetime imbeciles, those inside the West Wing, well, they just keep lying. At this point, it's really all they have left. What else can they do? Just keep lying and hoping somebody believes it. Somebody. The border meltdown is about to happen. KJP says everything, it's just fine. Here she is. Secretary Mayorkas has said that he's not worried about Title 42 expiring, that you are prepared, that he feels confident. Is the president confident that you are doing everything you can to, to be prepared for this? We are confident that the, with the tools that we have in front of us, that we are doing everything that we can. We have a robust multi-agency plan to humanely uh, manage the border through enforcement, deterrence, and diplomacy. And we're implementing that plan with our regional partners using the few tools we have remaining because, again, Congress has failed to act. <laughs> Congress, it's Congress's fault. Not the leadership or lack of leadership in the West Wing and the White House. It's nobody's fault there. It's, it's Congress's fault. By the way, if you're going for the gold of gaslighting, I say go for it. If you're going to go to the big lie, I mean, go all in. Put all your chips out there. Don't, don't hold back at all. <laughs> Why not? The dumbest thing yet, that you'll hear, is the idea that climate change, Climate change is the problem with the border, you see. Here's Democrat, of course, Congressman Pete Aguilar. Yeah, it's climate change. Listen. We need an orderly process. I agree with you, Joe. Uh, that's that's absolutely something that we need to do. Uh, what we what House Democrats want to also make sure that we focus on are these root causes of migration. You know, people are fleeing in difficult and dangerous conditions. They're fleeing economic issues. They're fleeing because of climate change, and they aren't able uh, to farm the land that they used to farm uh, with with uh, right, hurricanes. Right, I, I totally get this, but we've been saying this for three, four, five, ten, fifteen years. There is a massive of crisis at the southern border right now. I'm not telling you anything you don't know, but it's only getting worse. All right, so <laughs> can't farm anymore. Climate change, driving people over, the, they can't farm their land anymore. Well, if that's true, genius, explain this to me. Why is it when I go into the supermarket, I see things labeled from Argentina, Peru, Mexico, all over Central and South America, products, agricultural products are coming in. Avocados are being burned up in this climate change. Neither are the grapes of Peru or the tomatoes of Argentina. Come on. That, that is honestly the dumbest thing I have heard yet. But hey, it's what they've got. My God, we've got to have wind turbines. We don't need a border wall. Kareem, by the way, the worst White House spokesperson I've ever seen says we can't build the border wall for another reason. I mean, again, if you're going to go for the gaslighting option, if you're going to lie to the American people, if you're going to look people in the face and say, here's the deal, and you're going to lie about it, go all in. Don't mess around. Take all your chips, push them right, whoosh, right into the middle. Get to it, kids. She says, does Corrine Jean-Pierre, the border wall really doesn't make sense it, it, it can't even stand up to, to high wind. It'll get blown down if it gets windy. Therefore, it should be abandoned in favor of failing Biden policies. It'll get blown down if it's windy. I Listen, here it is. And instead of providing the needed resources for more border security technology and asylum officers and judges, it would waste taxpayer dollars on an ineffective wall, again, an ineffective wall that can't even withstand heavy winds, let alone sophisticated criminal smuggling networks. <laughs> wow. It, 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 if it gets windy, the wall just falls down. That's how incompetent Americans are. We can't build a wall that will you know, stand up in the wind. 